about to view a demonstration of the Resource Group's Bank Transaction Copy Paste, a convenient tool to use for copying Excel data into Microsoft Dynamics GP when you need to update both the Bank Reconciliation Module and the General Ledger. Not only is the formatting simple and the process easy, but there are built-in validation reports to prevent errors from being transferred into your system. I am Sherry Carney with the Resource Group, and I'm about to guide you through how this user-friendly tool works. We start out with an Excel spreadsheet containing the data that's to be copied. The example here is data received to record a payroll that has been outsourced. If we just use the GL copy paste tool, we would need to process a second entry in order to update the checkbook for the payroll funding. The formatting is really flexible. We are able to define our columns within the bank transaction copy paste window in GP. Let's take a look at that. We wanna go ahead and pull up Microsoft Dynamics GP, and on the financial page, we go to our transactions, financial, and bank transactions, where we would normally go to do a bank transaction. At the top, you'll see a new button called Additional. When we click on that, you'll see the option for the TRG Excel Bank Transaction Integration. We'll go ahead and click on that. And then this will give us our fields that we need to fill in for the integration to take place. The fields are very uh, usual for what we'd see in a bank transaction window. So we want to choose our option of transaction or receipt, our type of check or a withdrawal for the funding, the transaction date that the funding happened on, the checkbook ID, where did the money come out of? So we're going to choose payroll here. It automatically assigns the next transaction number, so we'll go ahead and keep that. Our paid to receipt from, just as always, I'm just going to say payroll, and the description, if you'd like to add a description. The GL batch number is not a required field, as you can see here. However, if you'd like to assign a specific GL batch for this transaction to be saved into, you can certainly assign the batch here. If we leave it blank, what will happen is GP will auto-assign the next CMTRX transaction batch, uh, just as it normally would for a bank transaction flowing to the general ledger. So I'll go ahead and leave it blank so you can see that happen. The amount, what it's asking for is the amount that's hitting this checkbook ID. Okay, so we want to look at what, is, what was the amount of the payroll, the amount that to post to the cash account and in, into this account number. Notice on our first line of the distribution down here, it automatically, just as it does in a regular bank transaction, pulls the account number that's assigned to the checkbook ID that we've chosen, and it requires that to be the first line item of the, uh, the transaction or the receipt that was made uh, out of or into this account. So we want to look at our Excel spreadsheet to see what was the amount that hit our payroll account. And so we see here it was 813521. So I want to go ahead and fill that in. 813521. And as soon as I fill that in, it fills into the first distribution line below. All right, and then I currently have a difference of that amount, and I want to make sure, as we usually do in any entries that we make, that our difference is zero so that we have a successful posting. So at this point, I want to be able to copy and paste all of our transactions in so I'm not having to key each one of these transactions into my, my bank transaction window. The next part is that easy formatting I told you about. The uh, Excel copy source column is what it's called up here, and what it's asking is for the account number, the debits, the credits, and then the description that we're going to pull in for that distribution reference. All we need to do is specify which column in our Excel spreadsheet that is being pulled from. So our account number is in the first column, debit is in our one, two, three, fourth column, et cetera, et cetera. Once we have those defined, then we can go ahead and come to our Excel spreadsheet. We highlight all of the data that we're about to copy. Now notice I've highlighted all of the columns in my spreadsheet, even though only certain columns are being brought across. And that's okay, because the integration can, can just pull from the columns that I've specified, and it won't get confused from the extra columns. So I'm going to go ahead and say right click and copy. And back in GP, I just click on the paste button up at the top. And all of my entries automatically fill in 
my difference is now zero. And notice that GP knew to ignore this one line item for the funding for the 8,135 because it was already accounted for at the top and it recognized that. So next, before I actually integrate and post this, I want to make sure there are no errors. So here's the built-in validation. There's an error button up at the top. All I have to do is click on the error button and it would list if there were any errors, an account missing, an out of balance entry, et cetera. Since there's no errors found, I can go ahead and close out of that. If there had been an error found, I can either fix the spreadsheet and then repaste it into my transaction, or I can go ahead and just highlight whatever needs to be fixed within my window here, and I could fix it on the fly, add a different account number, different dollar amount, or add an additional distribution reference here. Since we have no errors, I can go ahead and click on the integrate button up at the top. I have a complete sign and a request to open the GL transaction entry. I'm going to go ahead and say yes. And then now I get my transaction entry for the general ledger with my new journal entry number. Here again is that batch ID I told you about, the CMTRX, it auto assigned the next batch ID available for this type of transaction for the general ledger. I can review my journal entry here and I can either save this into my batches for posting later, or I could have removed the batch and gone ahead and posted to update the general ledger. This concludes our demo. Thank you for viewing it on the bank transaction copy-paste enhancement for Microsoft Dynamics GP. And for further information, please contact us using the information that's provided here below. Have a great day.